politics. But it ain't politics. It's, it's right and wrong. Do you, do you feed people what they want? Do you give them health care or what they sit? Do you come into their city and have rebuild their home after a storm? That ain't politics. That's just being right and wrong. That's why we can't get nothing done sometimes in the church. Because we struggling with sin. People want to bring everything in, in the church. Want to have a name in the church and serve cocktails. Champagne. That's not a cocktail. You got that kind of party, you need to take it somewhere else. But we struggling with right and wrong. But what it, what it says here, we all struggle with sin. So don't feel special. Because you're struggling with sin. It, 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 we all struggle with sin. It, it, it said, the word said, we are born in sin, Lord have mercy, and shaped in iniquity. Now, I didn't say that. Psalm 51 5 said, it, it, it says, sometimes the sin we commit are unintentional. But usually they are a result of Satan enticing. He, he starts out. Uh, uh, he, he, uh, he, 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 so, let him tell you about this. Uh, see, all right. So, he, he, so, let him. It, 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 it starts out. It starts out of flesh to lust. You know, say, 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 go watch it. Say, go with your lust. That's why I got to stay out the mall in the summertime. Because they ain't dressed the right in the mall. Say no with your left. That's why I stay out the ball. And you know, they don't want to hear that. Say no with your left. He, he started to lust. Uh, uh, he, he, he said that he, our flesh <coughs> begins to lust. And our mind to cover until he gets our heart to become darkened by his evil ways. See, I told you, God gets in your heart, but Satan gets in your heart too. Don't say that. Satan short, because he ain't slow. So he 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 gets in his heart and dark about his evil way. I, I, I watch men and women living in sin, and I ask myself, why do they want to live? Like that. <clears throat> and then the Holy Spirit reminds me that I was born deep in sin. He also reminded me how great is the pull of sin. So great that it can convince an unbeliever to be satisfied with sin. Uh, that's why when I offer a sinner an extreme spiritual makeover in Christ, he sometimes looks at me like I'm crazy. As far as he's concerned, he's already got everything he needs. He's satisfied with sin. And, and, and that's the universal man, he. That's, that's women too. When they say he, that's universal. Men and women don't want to leave the sisters out. Uh, he and she is satisfied with sin. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, how many sinners realize that God is watching over them and caring for them even in their sinful state? I know that truth goes, we hear this morning. Joe, <coughs> Jeff on the story. So let me tell you about 
about this hypothetical Job. Uh, they say Job was a he was a he was a great neighbor. He, he was a great neighbor. He, he knew how busy I was, so he would do random acts of kindness, like cutting my lawn or putting out my trash. We were never close, as friends are close, traveling in the same circles and sharing the same friends. But we would occasionally talk over the fence about life in general. 